I felt like he was talking to me. I never heard him before, you know. Everybody run, run, run. Everybody scatter, scatter. Come in. You know, he used to leave the key outside in the door. And the room was full of beautiful girls, as usual. And the fellow was sitting there in his speedos, as usual. Um, but this was my first encounter with fella. I don't really remember what I said, but I said something and suddenly the guy spun around and looked at me and we just started to laugh, the two of us, and we just became friends, man. What went into the creation of Afrobeat, which was a lot of pain. You know, they beat the shit out of him, man. He had scars all over his body. He said, oh, well, they didn't kill me. But the fact is, all of that contributed to the vehicle of Afrobeat that Fella created in order to carry his message. But he's been gone now 20 years, Fella, and he's still keeping me busy, is all I can tell you. Last year, there were 20 celebrations around the world in far-flung places, Osaka in Japan, uh, Reykjavik, Iceland, we played in, in New York on Broadway for 15 months. We played to half a million people. We toured it all over America to another half a million people. We opened it at the National Theatre in London, sold out for three months. When we tell this story in New York, it's a story, or in London, it's a story. Here, it's his story. So make your way to Echo, 13, 14, 15, April. Fella the concert. Don't miss it. <laughs>